what up y'all it's your girl selena coming at you today i'll be sharing with you five things that damaged my natural hair so i'll be showing you guys a few a few embarrassing past pictures of mine from when i had really really short hair to now that i have started my hair journey uh don't laugh though you know so if I if I could get from hair to hair, then so can you. Let's get right into this video. Yeah. So I do embarrassing pictures of me from my younger days. However, <laughs> however, guys, let's 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 start discussing these things. Number one, the most important thing is to moisturize your hair. That's one thing that I I didn't do as often back when I had that length hair. I wasn't moisturizing my hair often, and I always complained about not seeing growth and wanting longer hair. Yet still, I wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing. So moisturizing your hair, even if it's in a protective style, is very important. Um, this is one product that I use to moisturize my hair. Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Restore Smoothie. I will do a review on all the products that I will show you now in a different video so that you guys can get a better understanding of what the product has to offer you and why you should go get it. The other product that I use is Wild Growth Oil. I find that it's very good for my scalp. It doesn't irritate my scalp. The scent is the scent of this oil is one thing to get used to, but I promise you guys that it is a really good product. Okay, guys, really good product. The other product that I use is Stop Brass. This is what I use so much to to like for my scalp because I have eczema, and what happens is that it causes itching a lot but since i started using this top brass since i started using this no more itching no more itching guys so that's that's another thing that i use in my moisturizing routine i will i will i will do a video on these products and let you guys know a bit more about them number two sleeping without a bonnet guys it's very important for you to sleep with a bonnet on let me tell you that was one of the mistakes that i made that damaged my hair back when i was younger and i still regret it to this day so every time i'm going to bed or just taking a nap or lying down i put on my bonnet because what will happen is if you don't sleep with your bonnet on especially if you sleep on your back guys you will damage your hair what will happen is that you will develop more split ends and a lot more breakage will occur and thinning of your hair so guys sleeping with a bonnet is really beneficial i have a bonnet that has an elastic around the the edges so that it doesn't slide off guys get you a bonnet like that okay okay guys sleep with your bonnets on number three is not trimming so give us a like if you can relate you see the length coming you know you need to get a trim but the length is more important to you than than the health guys don't make that mistake that i made okay that if you need to get a trim if it's your time to get a trim get the trim what will happen is that you will develop more split ends and then it will get to a point wherein you're shedding so much hair that when you do get the trim you'll have to trim more than what you needed to trim if you just attacked it right then and there so don't don't do not let length come over health health comes first right you will see the growth i promise you just get your regular trims i get my trims at least four i get my trims every four months and that works for me 
you can get your trim as often as you need you don't you probably don't need to get as often as i do but once you realize that you're shedding more hair more than you used to or if you're realizing that your ends are thinning you can see right through your ends guys it's time to get a trim okay or is applying too much heat guys that was one mistake that i made you know, I used to go to the hairdresser very often. I don't go to the hairdresser anymore. I take care of my own hair. But that was the mistake that I made. I went to the hairdresser and they would constantly apply heat to my hair and that damages the hair. You need to give your hair time to breathe. Even if you're going to flat iron or blow dry hair, don't do it more than once a month. Give your hair time to breathe because heat damages your hair even if you use those sprays that prevent heat from damaging your hair it's still doing something to your hair so try to avoid heat as much as possible and appreciate your curls make those curls pop guys appreciate your curls number five not doing protective styles to protect your hair guys protective styles are only protective styles if they protect your hair so if you're putting in braids and the braids are tight or pulling on your edges or you're not tucking your ends that's not protecting your hair and you can't expect to see much growth if you're constantly doing those styles and calling them protective styles i used to make that mistake i used to i used to do many twists very often and i wouldn't tuck my ends the hair would rub against my clothes and that caused a lot of breakage so guys if you're going to do protective styles ensure that you tuck your ends ensure that it's not too tight and ensure that you are moisturizing very often and and covering your hair before bed okay go ahead and like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video